Now, that whole business of writing the story and, and, and getting it banned starts a whole, a whole political argument. And I, I kind of love this, Armin. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure almost everybody in here knows who Sherman Alexie is. Well, Sherman Alexie wrote a book called The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian. And it is a fabulous book. I go down to South Carolina, and I'm, it's, it's Banned Books Week. It's a year from, you know, it, it, well, it's been about three years. And they have this beautiful library in Columbia, South Carolina. It's a, it's a, it's a, it was on the front of Architects Digest. And I'm there for Band Books Week, and I'm supposed to give, I'm supposed to give a uh, keynote speech for this Band Books Week thing. And as we're getting ready to go in there, they have, us, they, they have some dignitaries from town, and me and a couple of other people, to read the, the, the uh, excerpt of our, that we like the most out of our favorite band book. Well, I got shared at Sherman's book. And Sherman has, the, it's, a, it's a page, in, it's, a, it's not even a whole page in, in the story. And this is the thing that gets him banned all the time. And his character says, I masturbate. I'm good at it. I'm ambidextrous. And then he goes, he goes to talk about, a, 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 I don't know, a paragraph about it. And it's a lead-in to his, his love of architecture. And I read the whole thing. And then I go in and give the speech. Well... If you're, given, if you're talking during band's book, Band Books Week, most of the time you're talking to you, the choir. I mean, you're talking to people who, the, the people who don't agree with you about band books are not going to come listen to you talk. But we get to the question and answer part, and it's this really nice auditorium stuff. And this woman raised her hand, and she said, she said, you know, I know this is going to be unpopular, and I, I just, but she said, I have to say it. She said, um, I get it about the First Amendment, but she said, I, I just don't believe in masturbation. And I said, masturbation doesn't need you to believe in it <laughs> to be true. If you have the choice to bet on sunrise or masturbation, bet on masturbation, it's more likely to happen. And there was like this dead silence in the room. And I, I walked away from it and I thought, Sherman wrote a book that almost everybody relates to that picks it up. And I'm talking about adults, I'm talking about teenagers, I'm talking, it goes all the way down to sixth, seventh grade. It's a book about a kid trying to find his way and it's heroic. And it's under amazing circumstances. And, he, and Sherman knows that you gotta get the funny stuff in there. He also knows something else. He also knows that if I read that thing outside, out loud to a crowd without putting it in context, it's got a shock value to it. But he knows if you pick up the book and you're reading it and it's like the fourth or fifth chapter in there, he's just telling you who he is. And he's telling you all of who he is. And that's part of the deal. Now, I, a, little, a little while after that, I, I got an I got a email from Sherman and he was just talking about some other stuff. And he's writing a book of very short, short stories, like two pages long. And he's, a, he's, he's the king of this because he's such a wordsmith. I mean, he can, in, in two pages, he can say a whole lot. And he sent me one of his short stories that he really liked. And it was re it's fabulous. When this book comes out, you're going to want to grab it. But I, I, I wrote him back and I said, I said, man, I've been living off you. I've been telling this story about your, you know, your, that, that one section in your book. And I told him the story I just told you. And in two minutes, I get this back and he said, I'm stealing that line. I'm stealing that line. I'm putting it in a story. And I said, you can't steal it. It's freely given. And the next day, he sends me a short, short story. And that's the punchline. And I think, I have just expanded this awful thing about masturbation all over the world because Sherman Lexi has now written it. But you look at it, and, and, and you look at, you go back and read his stuff, and, you, and, and Sherman's been, I mean, that, that particular book has been banned a lot, but so is some of his other, a lot of his other stuff. And it's it banned because it's, it's just the hard razor, you know, core of humanity. And everybody recognizes it. I mean, characters, Sherman's characters, of course, are, are Native American, but it doesn't matter. Anybody that's ever felt on the outside picks up on that kind of stuff, and, and off, off we go.